What the fuck is up? Can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? Can the real Mason Crosby please stand up? I repeat. Can the real Mason Crosby please stand up? We're going to have a problem here. You act like you never kicked a field goal before. Cincinnati's score could have been sadly poor. Which y'all thought y'all was about to get a 16 now. But uh, on a most serious note, uh, on a more serious note, Mason, you know, I'm trying not to rip you an asshole in this one. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I was going to go hard on you. But listen, you still got the G on your head. You're a captain. You're going to be a part of this team. And let's get this out the way first. Uh, let's praise you, bro. Because uh, before somebody says, with all due respect, normally comes something, what? Disrespectful. So with all due respect, Mason. You're a legend. You're the leadingest, leading scoring packer of all time, bro. Yeah, you got about 1,200 or some points. Uh, now, I know y'all thinking, uh, well... Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, shouldn't they have more points than that, all the touchdowns they threw? Well, this metric, uh, they don't count touchdowns thrown. They actually count people who cross the plane with the ball or people who, you know, the last person to touch the ball it goes through a field goal. That's how they do it, you know. If Aaron Rodgers were to run the touchdown in, which all of his touchdown runs are recorded, you know, he would make the list. But Mason Crosby is the leading, leading Packer scorer of all time. We got to give him that. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to give him credit because look where you kick at. The field is not always the best, you know, at Lambeau. That's number one. The weather is not always the best. And you always have to travel to Chicago once where the weather's probably worse than at Lambeau and the wind is crazy. You know, you're not kicking in the dome as your home stadium. So, you know, there's a few reasons why some of these things may be happening, you know. So I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt of that, you know. But uh, can a real Mason Crosby please stand up? Where you at? Which Mason Crosby are we going to get this year? You went motherfucking 20, 25 for 34. So you missed nine. That is unacceptable, bro. And not just, it wasn't like you missed them when they didn't count. You missed one when we lost against Kansas City. You missed one when we lost against Minnesota. Two games that were within a touchdown reach. Who's to say that we wouldn't have won the Kansas City game if maybe you would have hit that field goal and we wouldn't have had to pressure Jordan Love in the half in to, to go for a touchdown on the fourth down. That might have changed some shit up. The Minnesota game, we normally split with they punk ass. We could have swept them. Maybe if you made that field goal. We only lost by a field goal to them and you missed the field goal that game. I don't know what's going on, Mason. You know, I don't know... Hey, you and wifey having problems? Like, what's going on? And, you know, God bless your wife. I'm glad and happy. She, you know, the, the tumor was removed. Something like that happened, you know, a couple years ago. So, hey, God bless you on that, you know. But, you know, this is about football, bro. Are y'all having issues or something? Because to miss nine, bro, this was this year was your worst year in fucking 10 years, bro. Your last worst year was, uh what, 2012 where you uh went, you know what? I'm going to give you a benefit of the doubt, bro. I ain't even going to mention 2012, bro. I'm going to give you statute of limitations, bro. I ain't going to knock you. I ain't going to prosecute you or do something to you that you did 10 years ago, as long as it ain't murder. So I'm going to give you the statute of limitations on that. I ain't even going to talk about that horrible season you had that year where you kicked for like 72%. But anyway, this last year, I think you kicked 78%. Can we get the Mason Crosby from two years ago? When you went 16 for 16, goddammit? Are you kidding me? What were you smoking then? Oh, there was no crowd. It was completely silent. Crowd noise getting to you? Like, what's going on, Mason? And it ain't all your fault. But it is all your fault, right? You've been wearing captain as long as I can remember, bro. That shit might have to get revoked, bro, because you're not acting captain-like. Captains just don't take care of what they need to take care of themselves personally. They also take care of everybody else. All this year, I've been, I I try not to say it on camera. I've been feeling it. I done told a couple people, but all last year, I'm like, man, everything is great. I think we're going to be in position, but I just see special teams just, just 
just fucking us over at the last, at, at, at just the worst time, bro. And that's what y'all did. And I'm going to put that on you. Why? Because you got the C on your jersey. You had the Mason. You had, you've been having a C all I can remember, bro. So you don't just need to worry about you. You need to worry about everybody else. You are the last motherfucker in the back during a field goal. You get to see everything happen before you. Bro. Oh. In practice or anything during a game, reviewing film. Do you guys look at the film on where you guys do bad at? Because you could easily say... Most of our pressure is coming from the left side. They get in a little easier over there. Let's tighten it up over there. Or it could be, it's the whole operation, Mason. Now, you end up missing the field goal, and everybody blames you. That sucks, but you are the kicker. You know, you don't have too many other jobs on the team but to make field goals, you know, PATs too, which we're going to talk about. But, Mason, you are the last motherfucker back there doing the field goal. You get to see everything happening. You need to tell the coaches what the fuck is going wrong, bro. I don't know how many times this year I look after a fucking missed field goal. You and Bohorquez, Corey Bohorquez, who ain't even there no more, looking at each other like, what happened? I've seen that so many times I could throw up, bro. What the fuck y'all looking at each other looking dumb for? Whose fucking fault is it? Y'all want to blame each other on camera or what? But y'all both always look like, what, what happened? And... Like, it was even an uncomfortable time where Bohorquez just started laughing because Mason just was staring staring the fuck out of him. It's not just that. It's the whole operation. It's the snap. It's the block. It's the hold. And it's the kick. Bro, one of my best memories, back to giving you credit, one of my best memories ever is just past year when I went to San Francisco and you made the game-winning field goal. But I ain't going to fucking lie. First of all, I'm in the other end zone. Check out the shorts, y'all. I'm in the other end zone, bro. So, you know, it was far. I seen the kick when it went off, but after a while, shit, that shit looked like it was going to go a little short and to the left and the bottom. Shit, I had to wait a half a second later, look at everybody else to see if we fucking made the kick because it started off good, but that motherfucker started going sideways. Mason, what is going on, bro? Cincinnati game. What a game, bro. Like, oh, my God. I will never forget that shit. I done left the house almost three times. I was late for work. Didn't give a fuck because I'm watching Packers. I'm about to I'm about to start the car and shit. Watch the end of the game. You fucking miss. I'm like, okay. It's cool. I sit and watch, you know, another one. We actually get the ball back. You fucking miss again. So I'm really about to leave, yo. And I'm like, I don't know how we still in this game, but this last third one. All right, Mason, you got it. You missed it again, bro. You missed three that game, bro. It seemed like you missed five, bro. Maybe because the other motherfucker was missing so much. But uh, that shit cannot happen this year, Mason. We are in prime position to be in the Super Bowl, to make the tournament first. We're guaranteed to make the tournament almost. Win our two games or win our three games. Hopefully it's three this year. I don't give a fuck. I'll go on the road. Win our three games and be in the Super Bowl. We got the offense to do it. You know, might be a little hiccups early, but we have a four-time MVP. And we have the newly improved invented defense. That's going to get you a lot more kicks. So, Mason, I'm going to put it on you this year. I expect defense to show up. I expect offense to show up. You need to have everybody ready. And I don't mean just field goal, God damn it. I mean, fuck, you ain't even in there on punt. Had them motherfuckers together. Kickoff? Like, all you got to do with the Packers is fake one way and go the other way. Make sure the motherfuckers stay in their lane, bro. This ain't motherfucking toss-up football we used to play in the hood, bro. This NFL. Everybody must stay in their lane, commit to their lane, because you know a motherfucker might bounce it out. How many times we done seen big returns on us, bro? It happened in a, uh, I always want to say NFC Championship game, but we didn't even make it this year. It happened in the division, though, bro. They done let a couple go a little too much, too far, bro. Do you like making tackles, Mason? Remember the most, and then this is not just something now. And let me tell you something else, too. Okay, last year, I give you credit. You did go 16 for 16 as far as field goals, but uh, you missed five extra points. What the fuck is that about? Why are you missing extra points? In this last year, you missed, what, three or four of them? Bro. Those are game changers there. That could change whether a motherfucker need to score or a motherfucker need to kick a field goal to either tie the game or win a game or take it to overtime. Bro, missing PATs, bro? We can't have that shit, bro. You on a motherfucking short leash this year, bro. Like, 
I wasn't expecting it this year. And listen, you better be happy that you are friends with Aaron Rodgers. And sometimes it ain't who you know. I mean, sometimes it ain't what you know is who you know. Sometimes it ain't what you do is who you know. Because you played horrible last year. But since you run the Rodgers boys, the team and, you know, LaFleur likes you too. We're going to give you every opportunity to redeem yourself. Now, only reason I'm feeling optimistic is because your years have been on and off. Just like this year, um, 25 for 34, you missed nine. Last year, 16 for 16, amazing, but there was no crowd, no noise, nothing going on. And then also, you missed two or three PATs, bro. So you ain't off the hook for last year either. You went 16 for 16. Man, and just imagine, bro, we only kicked 16 field goals in that year, bro. That means we were scoring. That, that was probably the year we was the number one offense, bro. What a... Can we get back to that, Packers? But uh, back to you, Mason. It's all on you, bro. Hey, I done watched so many Maurice Drayton, our old special teams coach, interviews. I used to try to find hoes in this motherfucker because the special teams are so horrible. But when I heard this nigga talk, like, I would run through a wall for him myself. He knows the game, very knowledgeable, knows how to talk. He knows exactly where everybody's supposed to be, but apparently y'all motherfuckers just wasn't listening to him. You got my nigga fired, bro. Hey, you know how hard it is for us to get a job in the NFL and keep one? You got motherfucking Maurice Drayden fired, bro. It wasn't even his fucking fault. It wasn't nothing to do with him then. Maybe it was LaFleur too. Not enough time in practice to do special teams. Because I've been on, you know, small shit. I've been on a team where special teams, I'll never remember seeing them practice. So no wonder during the game, come game time, we just going for two no matter what. Because we ain't have no fucking special teams. When you don't pay attention to it, when you don't put time to it, you're going to get the results on the field. And it's going to be brutal. And it was brutal this year, Mason. And I'm putting it on you, Mr. Captain. So, last year, 24, 25 for 34. The year after that, 16 for 16. COVID year. I don't know what that was about. Hey, the year before that, you went 22 for 24. You only missed two. Can we get that, Mason? The year before that, hey, this is off the dome, too. The year before that, you went 30 for 37. So, you're up and down, up and down. So what I'm hoping, you had a down year last year. You goddamn know, you know you done fucked up, right? You, you know you done fucked up. Like, I'm serious, bro. Like, and then you fucked with my head on that Cincinnati game. Because I was really convinced then. I'm like, my God, we did everything we could to try to get his game away. And we still won. So I'm starting thinking like, hey, football gods, maybe it is our year. Maybe no matter what happens, we're going to win. You had me thinking that because we should have lost that Cincinnati game, bro. All them field goals you missed, dog, against a rookie, too. You're supposed to show him out, bro. You're supposed to give him his welcome to the NFL moment. Now, he still got it because his dumb ass went and missed like three more. At least after that, he was one of the best kickers in the NFL, so he learned from it. He learned from that game, so hopefully you do. That game is worse than the Detroit game two, three years ago. You remember that shit. And then why do we have to have one of these games, Mason, every year? Why can't you just be, you know, like I said, the 22 for 24 year, 16 for 16 year. I gave you the statute of limitations rule on your horde year in 2012. But again, I was about 10 years ago. But basically all I'm saying is Mason, get it together. You didn't got a nigga fire. Like, hey, at the end of this one, if you were to do anything remotely close to what you did this past year. And look, we got a new coach in there, bro. What, what excuse you gonna have, bro? And this nigga's an asshole, too. Hey, they say Rich is an asshole. It, it take a while to get used to him because he just gonna call it like it is. Dry sense of humor, shit like that. Like, So, you know, I hope you get to know Coach really well because it don't look like he gonna play around and fuck around if his job is on the line. We bring him in to improve special teams and you the one fucking up? Oh, we gonna get you out of here. You see, we've been flirting with these, you know, Every we, we done had like three, four kickers come in for tryouts and shit, nigga. We looking. So get your shit together, Mason. Don't you want to retire on top? We don't want to remember the Detroit game where you miss. I don't fuck it. What, did you miss five that game? I don't know. We don't want to remember the Cincinnati game, which we still won, bro. That's how good of a team we were. And then, like I said, you wait till the last point to fuck up. NFC Divisional. The left, that motherfucker came right through to block the motherfucking field goal. Why not in practice the week leading up to or the whole season? You got the whole film. You got the whole season of fit on film at that point. Y'all didn't look at the whole operation and see what the fuck was going wrong. 
Y'all let them come in and block a fucking field goal that we could have used in that game, and they blocked a punt. Special teams, what's going on? I'm putting that on you, Mason. So uh, I'm going to chill out, bro. I'm going to chill out, you know. I probably have more to say, but I, I'm going to end it at this. This motherfucker getting a little long. We love you, Mason. Get your shit together. We rolling with you. We're going to give you every opportunity to make up what the fuck you did. And let's just end this year with a Super Bowl. Then you can motherfucking retire.